Okay, in this video, I'm going to be... I figured out the problem with backspace and everything, but this is going to be another tutorial that's going to go under the beginner category, so we're just going to get rid of those two files for now, and we're going to our net.java basics, and one of the things I wanted to show you is I figured out this bug why we have to do a new scanner here. So, the bug is is if we set this to s.nextint and then we were catching our error and it says enter your favorite number if we entered something that was not our, our favorite number was not a number at all then it would fill up our console with this so this I'm not sure if this is gonna work but I think I think I figured this out so what we have to do here is we have to do s dot next we just do x dot next line and just so we can see if this works yes this has actually worked so if you don't understand what was happening since it could not read this line it was throwing an error and then it was stuck it was still stuck on this line so whenever we loop through it it would still be stuck on s.nextint. So that's going to be helpful later. It's, that's pretty good to know because that bug annoyed me for a while. But ignoring that, what I'm going to be talking about today is reading from a file. So first thing we're going to do is we're going to right click on here. Actually, no, ignore that. What you're going to go, what you're going to do is you're going to go to your Windows Explorer or on a Mac wherever your workspace is which is usually under users so like for me on Windows I go to uh, my C drive my hard drive it's under users and then that and I scroll down to workspace 2 and it would be here so what I'm gonna be doing here is I'm gonna create a new folder and I'm gonna call it RES, which stands for resources. So you would more do this in a game with more than maybe one text file or something. I think if you needed a lot of different resources, you would probably want to do this. But if anyone wants to make me a background for the text based game, I'll probably say that later too. If anyone wants to make me a cool background for it, I'm not going to make the background myself, but if someone wants to make a cool background for it, that's th whatever size we made our window I'll say it later when I actually do a video for the text based game tutorial then I will teach you how to put that image in but ignoring that we have our resource folder and inside of it I'm gonna make a new text document I'm gonna name it input.txt and then in my input.txt I'm gonna say hello welcome to the game how's it going so this is just going to be really simple we're not going to do much we're just going to get our console to print out these three lines that we entered so we can close that now and we can close this and if you refresh this then you see we have a resource resource folder here but we have to do one more thing before we can actually use anything inside of it we have to add it to the build path for this project so we right click on here we go to properties and then you go to java build path and you go to uh, libraries add class folder and then the resource folder so now whatever's in the resource folder you can see it's under our reference libraries now we can actually use it in our programs so now that I'm done with that the cool thing about scanner is we've been using it to get our keyboard input but we can also use it to get a file input so the way we're gonna do this is we're gonna we're just gonna erase all of this for now uh... we can leave that import for, for we can leave that import there it doesn't really matter and then instead of actually no let's ignore that 
let's use two different files for this. Yeah. So, let's go to our cats file. Oh, never mind, that's extended Fred. Okay, we'll just go to our Fred file. And I'm just going to empty the cats file. There. Save. Okay. So, in our Fred file, I'm going to erase all of this. And we're going to create three different methods. Public, void, open file. String path. So the path that we're gonna it, the path is basically where the file's located. And we're gonna have public void close file. And we're gonna have public void read file. Now this is just to teach you the basics. And my text-based game, if you're uh, if you're following that, I'm going to be doing it differently. I'm going to set this up a bit differently, but we're going to do the same thing. But I'm not going to explain it again, because I'm assuming you're watching this. And I'm going to tell you to watch this if you didn't. But what I'm going to do is, there's also a file thing in Java. So it's not just randoms and stuff. We can also have files. So we do import java.awt.file. And that would not be it. Mm. Oh, java.io.file. Okay, sorry about that, but yeah. And then our Fred class is going to have a file. File f. And then what we're going to do here is we're going to do f if f equals null if f is not equal to null. So we only want each Fred class that we make to only have one file to read from. So what we're going to be doing here, ignore this little statement for here at here first, but what we're going to be doing is we're going to say we also need a scanner going to have scanner s and we need to import scanner okay so s no, f equals new file path so basically you can create a file by using the path of it and the file is going to be whatever f is now we're going to do a try we're going to do a try statement which I took one over in my last tutorial in my beginner section and then we're going to set s equal to new scanner f. Now the reason we're putting tries around this because if the file does not exist, if the file does not exist, then we're going to get an error about that. So what we're going to do is we're going to do file not found exception. We're going to have two different catch statements. We're going to print out, for this, if we have the file not found, we're just going to print out file or er, path plus is not a valid file. And then, since we can also have another catch statement after this, because we didn't cover all exceptions with that, file not found ex exception is not the only exception in Java. So just in case we do somehow run into another exception, we're just going to do e.printStackTrace. Okay, so now we're done with that. And now, since we only want our Fred class to be handling one file, unless it closes the file first, if f is not equal to null, which means f is already a file, then we're going to throw an error at the user throw new runtime exception and then inside of here you put whatever you want it to say and I'm going to say that instance of Fred already has a defined file okay and that will stop our program and tell the user that they should not have done that 
And now in our close file, we're going to do s.close. We're also going to set f to null so that we can use a new file. And in our read file. So now we're to our read file. So one thing that we can do with a scanner is we can do while s dot has next has next line. We're going to do this by lines. So has next line. And what this is is whenever our scanner file our scanner and since it's coming out of the file, whenever our file has another line in it, like while our file still has another line in it, then this will keep going through it. And what we're just going to do is we're going to print out s dot next line. You see this? I'll explain it later. But yeah, just ignore that. So we're just going to print it out. And now what we're going to do is we're going to create a Fred object. Fred f equals new Fred. We're going to do f dot open file, and it's going to be input. Uh, put a slash input dot text. I'm going to do f dot read file. I'm going to do f dot close file. And there's one more thing that I realized we should do here. If f equal is yeah, if f equals null, then we're going to throw a new exception. There. That instance of Fred has no file to close. So if our file is equal to nothing, then we're going to stop our program and say that instant thread has no file to close. And then we're going to do the same thing for here. If f equals null, we're going to throw new runtime exception that instance of thread has no file to read. And just to show you what this would look like, I'm going to show that it works first. So, um, just to see if this works, we're going to run it, and it's going to say input.txt is not a valid file. Okay, that kind of worries me. Let's try getting rid of that. Run it again. Okay, let's try one more thing. Refresh. Okay, let's try this again. Run. If I refresh you and put back in the slash, I know there's supposed to be a slash there. Hmm. Let me think about this. This should be working. Obviously, this does not want to work for me, though. So instead, what I'm going to do is I'm going to take, I'm going to copy my input.txt out of there. I'm just going to paste it in here. So now it's here, and now this should work. Yep. So I'm not sure why that wasn't working. I'm going to figure out why it wasn't, because it's going to get on my nerves eventually if we do end up with a background. But, just showing you, that's what it says. Hello, welcome to the game, how's it going? And then just to show you what our little error catching things here are, so that we don't have errors thrown at us, because if F was null and it tried to close it, then it would throw an error at us anyway. So we're just gonna switch F.open file with F.close file. And if you run this, then you can see that our error was thrown. That instance of Fred has no file to close. So that's going to be the end of this tutorial. If you like it, then like the video. If you want to see more, subscribe to my channel. If you have ideas for what you want me to cover next in this beginner tutorials, then leave a comment on that. 
Though I probably will be covering writing the files, maybe not. It's not as important, I don't think. At least not for my purposes. But, um, in a sense it is, but not a text file. And if you didn't understand any part of this, leave a comment on that, and I'll go over it as soon as I can. Thanks for watching.